Who said you can't go home? Real Estate Exposed, brought to you by Signature Real Estate. Real Estate Exposed is all about helping homeowners and those who would like to be homeowners and those who would like to get into real estate. Welcome to Real Estate Exposed, brought to you by Signature Real Estate, where it's more than just real estate. I'm Brandon Roberts, along with Vonda Nabala and Shelly Panzarella. Hi. You always <laughs> take a deep breath before you say that. That's because I, I don't want to run out of breath before the long last name. Uh, yeah, same. I, I hear you. I feel you on that one. Actually, it's because of all the thought process I put into not messing up Vonda's name. Really? Yeah, because I, I call her I call her V all the time, Me and I too. know she doesn't like that. Abbreviated. But hey, get out of the camera, woman! <laughs> How about do you need that plug? Come on, what plug? I don't need a plug. Here, take it. I can have it. Oh, oh sure. see, here we go. But we need this is important because her battery's dying on her computer, it's dead. and we need that for stats. It, oh, it's restarting. It's restarting. Oh. 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 Now it's dying. <laughs> It's dead. <laughs> anyway, it's always a train wreck coming in, but hopefully we turn this train around and we make this thing good. Um, it's going to be a little bit uh, crazy because Vonda is going to bail on us before the end of the show. It's yeah. so a good thing because her computer already bailed on us. <laughs> I know. I need my computer. What is the deal <laughs> with that? It's restarting. Oh. I have right. a, well, I can I'll, go on Instagram. I'll start. I'll oh, start. We did, a, we did a story last week on the single mom with her kids. Yeah. Did you hear this? Yeah, I, I heard it. I talked about it. Yeah, and it was and her you, story. It was one hundred and seventy-four thousand yeah, dollars. It was fake it, news. It, yeah, it was on. No. C, it was on CNN. They did the interview, but that's not why it was fake news. But oh. it truly was. They weren't her kids. Legitimately, she wasn't what? single. She was married. Stop it's her yourself. husband. It's her husband's kids, Stop. and he only has them fifty percent of the time. Stop right now. No. And wow. so I, I so heard. You, oh. I heard that GoFundMe was refunding all the money. Get out. No, that's true. good. I, you know, Crazy, I, I'm right? glad to know something like that could actually. So happen. Does all, she get she get all the money though? Did she get to keep it or does no, she? No, I think GoFundMe is refunding it. I know, but does she get to keep the money and GoFundMe is taking on? No, the I don't know. I don't think she received the money yet. So anyway, I just she think it's funny because she pulled at all our heartstrings and we were all really? so sad. You know. That's such it's a so bunch sad, of actually. horse crap. That's the world yeah. we live in today. Seriously. That's ridiculous. So anyway, yeah. on a lighter note. Speaking <laughs> of the world we live in today, so this morning I get, I know this is totally off subject from real estate, but this morning I get a call from my daughter, which this is her first year driving in, uh, driving to school, and she yes. also has partners in crime driving with her. Um, so I always get nervous when she's driving in, but she called me this morning, super panicked, crying. Oh. Um, mm. Apparently, as she was pulling in, all of the kids from school were leaving school. They were going over to the other, there's a college campus right next door. They were evacuating the school, and she's like, Mom, they're, they're, they're leaving. I'm like, what do, what do you mean they're leaving? Like, I haven't seen, I'm looking online, checking to see what's going on. <laughs> she's like, yeah, everybody's going to the college next door. I'm like, okay. Well, do you want to go, go ask with them. somebody? <laughs> <laughs> go with yeah, she's like, I don't know what to do. I'm like, well, or where are you at? Park. Just stop. Park. And then all of a sudden she starts to cry because all of a sudden it becomes dramatic when mom tells her to park or do something crazy. Um, but come to find out, there has been, there was a bomb threat in her high school. No. Last night and this morning before they all got into school. Is that crazy? Wow. i like, what is it? They're high schoolers. What is happening? And where do you make these bombs at? <laughs> <laughs> Inquiry. They don't make the bombs, they make the threats. That's just the not threats. funny, by the way. I know. That shit is not funny. It, did but, you freak out and tell her to come home? I did. So, well, act actually, after she stopped having, like, a meltdown. Because if you didn't, then I would have told her to come to my house. And was this the I first day she drove to school? No, this is her first week. But this is yeah. her first week of school. This has happened so, now twice now she's this never week. going back. Uh, she has to go back. But I just think it's crazy, talking about the world being a crazy place right now. It is. It is a little bit nuts. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm Back on. to you, V. I'm on. I'm on. So <laughs> I'll do online. this in case. Hey, Beta, whenever you get a chance, you can plug my computer in. That'd be great. It doesn't Otherwise, fit. I'm, I know. It, story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> can you um, <laughs> figure this out for me when you get it's a chance? It's not long What's enough. What's the problem? Story of my life. <laughs> so we have uh, Matrix. <laughs> Matrix is taking a minute to load, but I was going to give you guys some stats. Are you guys ready for some stats? Who wants? Yeah. Who Medi wants medium some home stats? price. Medium home price. Are we there yet? Yeah. Went over 400, 405. It's down though from the week before. Yeah, it was 500 last week. Oh, median. That's right. You guys so do it differently those are the, than I do. Well, those are the totals for the month of July through July. Yeah. So, and the month, and the month before that it was 395. 395. Oh, so it's up. Yeah. 
good yeah, times. we broke the 400. So up over 20, almost like 22 percent over last year. Look Medium. at you having all the stats at like the tip yeah. of your. He's fingers. all dressed up today I too. Why Did you, you notice that? <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'm starting to know the stats because I'm having to do some interviews and stuff for yeah. LVR. So oh. I, know. I figure that's what I it was. Now the real fun begins. So I was on a radio show this week. It was pretty cool. This a oh, morning you show. You were on a radio I show. I was going to say right this now. is a radio show. Yeah, but it was a real legit <laughs> Ew, show. Wow. They had fans and everything. They even called me. We have fans. <laughs> Kim's on. Fans called. Uh, you? We have several fans. I don't know if she's on. Her oh, radio. you know what? We're early. That's why they're not here. They are. They're normally checking in or turning in at 1:30. We're early today, guys. Did you forget that? Don't mind me. Beta, it's okay. Oh, People we, see you. We're not minding you. <laughs> I got it. Oh. I got it. There we go. Here you we go. guys don't even understand the amount of work that goes into bringing you stats every week. Oh, my God. You see this? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> let, me, let me do this right here, okay? So new listings on the market um, in the last seven days, 1,077. Same as last week. Same. Which I feel like, right? Same as last week? I'm going to check right now. Are you taking... Are you taking um, stats she, no, like you're writing going, them down? She's going to her uh, Instagram page. <laughs> I'm going to Vaughn and his Instagram page. Oh, my God. You're trying <laughs> you to cheat. You already posted it, right? You're trying to cheat. Stop I don't trying cheat. to cheat. You don't even remember, though. I do I remember. This week I remember because I know she's trying to cheat. Um, sold homes in the last seven days, 965 sold properties. 965. Uh, Sat down? Looks nice. I don't know. Up. Uh, Arrows uh, pointing up. Arrows pointing up. Thanks, Shelly. You're welcome. And then on <laughs> <laughs> least expensive home that sold um, is a... one thirty You're a butthead. Yes. Me? Yes. Really? Because I bought it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> no. Did you buy a house? Uh, not today. Did no. you go owner financing? <laughs> yes, totally. <laughs> no, she went by owner. <laughs> <laughs> Still mine. <laughs> um, and so Shelly doesn't get to do this. Brandon, what is the highest price? 3.2. Stop right now. 7.5. <laughs> You're both such cheaters, <laughs> such cheaters. I don't know I'm what you're talking post, about. By the way, I'm not posting the stats anymore on Instagram. Before? At Before. <laughs> Before the show? Before the show. She's going to set gonna a timer. After gonna go the live. Well, we got to end this show forward. quick, so we got to make sure that we're on top of things or there's no delay on, you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, That all that helps, Exactly, right? yes. So it was <laughs> $7.5 million, and that was in the ridges um, is where that home was, and it was... Um, on Skid Row in the Ridges. On Skid Row? And it was well, not... Well, it's a cheap one for there, isn't it? It was not Oh, a, my um, gosh. <laughs> it was... It was... What was I saying? 7.5 in the Ridges. I know, but it was not a... Um, inside job. Inside job. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, so this is saying weeks of supply is 5.2? Yeah. That's so gone up. We are up, up, over. Up. So over a month. We're what? still, we're taking, the inventory is growing, but we're still selling as many houses. The same as amount of houses. Yeah. When we're listing wow. the same amount of houses. We're listing more houses. 1,077. Mm-hmm. We're, we're listing more houses and we're selling the same. You don't have to just Active be, list, that's how you get more supply, right? Okay. So I was talking to Carry Amy one, Bishop over at A to Z Transactions this morning, and she says the openings on files for new listings is up. Nice. Wow. So that's good. I would have to agree with like I have it, I've seen new contracts come through. It's almost like school started and everybody got back to work. It's crazy. Yeah. That's or usually <laughs> what happens anyway really? on normal like non-covid year. People I take the summers off and they around. just like yeah, I know you do. Which is that's funny. Why, that's why that's why you're different. Which is funny cuz most people <laughs> we always <laughs> That's why you're Gord. successful. We always no. have a, a seasonal downturn in the market about the time kids go back to school, but it's really attributed to people stopping to work Correct. To a month ready? or two before the kids go back to school. Yeah. Ah. To spend time with their children or like It's too hot shop. to show houses. Yeah, I've heard I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> it could just be that they're going on vacation. Yeah. They're, yeah. you know, they're doing yeah. other things. They're trying to enjoy the summer. The kids are home. They can't leave. Like when mine were younger, when I had youngums, they, I couldn't leave them home alone. <laughs> now I don't give a shit. You couldn't, but you, you did. You do I so. Did. That's why we're here today. I know. It is true. That's why we're <laughs> here so time. early today. That's right. Yep. Yeah. She still doesn't leave them home alone. I <laughs> <laughs> True story. So it's funny because my, my youngest one yesterday asked me, also off topic, sorry. Sorry, guys. My youngest asked me yesterday, he's like, Mom, can I go to the park with my you friends? And I was, no, he actually didn't ask me. His friend's dad called me and said, Hey, do you want me to come pick up your son and take him to the park and bring him back? I'm like, For what? And he goes, Well, didn't he tell you they're all like hanging out? And I'm like, no. So I, I asked him, I'm like, hey, how come you didn't tell me? He goes, I didn't think you were going to let me go. And I was like, okay. And then I just, I, just <laughs> I was guess, just going to go. Guess I, what? W- and I just <laughs> let it go. Going. And I didn't say anything. So he comes to me and he goes, so mom, can I, can I go? 
And I was like, sure. And he, like, the, the look on his face was like of utter surprise. He could not believe I said yes. I was like, you're the second kid. Like, I've already Aww. worked out the kinks with the first one. <laughs> and I know that you know better. Number one can't go, but number two can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, so I had to, like, make sure that he understood the rules. Number one, never understood the rules. Number two, however, yeah, he's better. He gets it. He gets it. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. All right, what's the next stat? Um, oh, so I was going to tell you that as far as like uh, properties that are on the market right now, there's 4,678. So that is in line with the five weeks because we're, mm-hmm. if we're selling about 965 a week, right? You look Yep, every single day. Every week. It's weird works. how the math works, right? Yeah. yeah. So the numbers the are right on your marketing piece on Instagram at Realtor Vonina. The numbers are correct. Okay, yes, cool. thank you. Thank you for doing that. Realtor Vonina everywhere That's you person go. than else. <laughs> Beta Max. <laughs> Oh, he's just, he's prepping for that. So do you want to talk about that that now? Sure, we could talk about that. Let's do it. Do you guys know what that is? It's an image that you had sent. Yeah, so I got this stat that said, you know, everybody's been talking about what's going to happen. Are we going to run into a huge amount of foreclosures? (laughs) And, you know, with all the forbearances and everything happening. So I thought this was kind of interesting. So in 2006 to 2014, 9.3 million households uh, went through foreclosure. Wow. Right. I believe that. And in and now they're showing the forbearance rate because everybody's saying, oh, after everybody comes out of forbearance, the only thing left to do is going to be short is either short sale, or f- short sale or foreclosure. Under two million homes are um, in forbearance today. So, so not even close. Not even yeah. close. Yeah. 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 Is and most of those are going to get worked out, right? That is nationwide, yeah. Yeah, nation- yeah <laughs> this is nationwide, not specific to Vegas. Still, I mean, if you had two million people lose their house, that would, that would still suck and make it, it dent. It would. But in comparison, it's not near. Not what everybody's, like everybody's so worried about this being 2012, 13. Well, and the other thing is, I don't think you'd see a lot of short (laughs) sales anyway. There's equity in those homes. Correct. Yeah, correct. There should be equity in those homes. Doesn't mean there is in all of them. But I mean, we talked about that last week, right? There's only equity if you pull it out or do something with it. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll go away. (laughs) Exactly. It doesn't doesn't stay there forever. It's like Bitcoin. (laughs) (laughs) We just... (laughs) That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. We are I on totally a tangent today. I totally missed that one. I got that one. I, I totally bump bump. Look at you, Brandon's Shelly, wearing a catching up I on know. stuff that I don't know. what happens that. when hey, I'm surrounded you know by you crazy people. You want to know why? Yeah. Because my Aura Ring app says I'm at 90 per, 92% optimal today. Yeah, so that's, not because, you, that's not because you didn't. Because, uh, that's because that's because yeah. I'm sleeping well. Yeah. So yeah. Are, is it putting and you to sleep And you're not answering our texts. Yeah, it says great job in concentrating on getting... The right amount of sleep lately. You've given your body and the mind rest that they need to focus and function during the day. So what are you doing to get yourself to go to sleep? Going to bed early. <laughs> is that what it is? And then you're waking up early? Your body's I, just automatically... I typically go to bed somewhere between 9 and 9.30, and I get up between 5.30 and 6. That's Okay, but... I used to get up a lot earlier. Oh, God, really? I need to mm-hmm. change stuff up. Yeah. But a big thing in your sleep, and not to just go off on a tangent, but go a big, off on a tangent. big, We're doing it big thing on your show. sleep is, is, <laughs> is getting in a rhythm of when you're going to bed and when you're getting up. Trying uh, to keep that Your consistent. body stays in there. It's circadian rhythm. And that's rhythm. how you get to be able to sleep faster. Yeah, oh. so that's been my problem is that I haven't been able to do that, right? Yeah. I don't ever, I don't have like a normal routine. And every morning I wake up and I'm like, oh, I need to be up 15 minutes sooner. Like every day it's the same thing. I you sh- have a morning routine them. though, right? I do have a morning routine and then the kids are going back to school. So as they're they went back school to now. school, I know, but they're in school now for this week and my entire morning routine has been screwed up where I do some portions of it here or some portions of it there. And I've been going insane trying to figure it out. It's a mess. And every day I sit, I get in the car with my, with my son when I take him to school and I was like, I need to. I need to change this. Like something's got to give, which means I got to start waking up at five um, in order to make. So I set my alarm at five, but I don't actually like get mm, up and well get that's out. A, well, until, that's a problem. Yeah. That is a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Because your body's not getting up also. That's the reason why you're forced. Here's the thing. Yeah. You just get up 15, 20 minutes earlier. Thanks. Ma- make, Thanks, Brandon. Make it, make it up on the right end. <laughs> just fall asleep. Just fall asleep. Yeah, <laughs> the car well, drives itself. No. The car drives itself. Why you not? cat nap on the way in, and you and you oh, don't lose any man. sleep. So on my IGTV, I did post how you get your children to, how you guys get all back on the same rhythm for your morning routine at Shelly Panzarella. Um, <laughs> but what you can do is get your children also on a routine. I know it sounds crazy, but oh, like... Process, process for them too. Yep. Then your lives all will be better in the morning. Oh, I know, I know. I've, I try. I've, <laughs> I've. So my son has been coming home from school and napping, 
And that's, wow. I know that's, and I can't, I can't, He's like growing. nothing I do, nothing I say is waking him up. Take him to the park. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm what? talking about, I'm talking about son number one, not oh. number two. Take him to the park. It's time to I let him out. <laughs> Let him go. Wait, you let number, number two out, but you don't let number one out at all? I do. I let them both <laughs> out. Stop it. There's I joy in both. But do you go number two? Or do you, okay, <laughs> There's joy in doing both. Oh, goodness. I'm done talking We are way over. So, <laughs> yeah, so our schedules really. are completely off. Our, uh, I think that it just, we need to get back into the rhythm of stuff. We need to get to sleep earlier. We need to get to sleep, wake up earlier, yep. things like that. We just, I, and you know, with the, right now, because I'm doing 75 hard, which I'm almost done with. Yeah. 14 days, I want to say, left. Nice. But because of that, it's that 45 minutes in the morning. If I was like, okay, I'm going to do this workout and I'm going to do 30 minutes here and then 15 minutes I'll do of like ab workout or whatever afterwards, it'd be different. <laughs> but right now I don't have that kind of, like I don't have that kind of leeway. If it's that kind of sense. funny. You go through this thing. What? So there's no alcohol. Yeah. You're eating right, mm -hmm. right? You're doing two exercises a day mm -hmm. uh, for what? 45 minutes? 45 minutes Four, each with one of them ha having to be outdoors. You're doing all this stuff, 75 hard, and you can't get up 30 minutes earlier. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's working. Listen, you butthead. <laughs> Listen, you butthead. I just you don't also have get to, it. You also have to read and do a bunch of other stuff, but yeah. Yeah, it, but it it is a big uh, commitment. It is. Yeah, you made your kids like get on get get on 75 hard. So they won't do the whole thing, but like they'll go on evening walks with me. Isn't that cute? Right, or or uh, in the pool <laughs> no, or something like that. No, that was like, like the that. best part of doing so, it. So, yeah, so the yeah. pool, um, they'll, we'll go do the pool, we'll go for a walk. I just got all of us uh, rollerblades, um, and I put them on. Don't do it. Well, yeah. I put them on, right, a couple weeks ago, and I was like, yep, totally going to kill myself. And so I decided I'm going to wait until, uh, not do, because I don't know if, if you remember, but I live on a hill, right? So there's like a hill right Your outside of my house. Is it a hill? My, yeah. my garage is a hill that goes down. And then right outside of my house, there's oh, like a hill. And you have speed bumps. Right. And That's so I dangerous. was like, this is probably not the right place for me to start learning how to yeah. rollerblade. And I should have a helmet and all the gear. Just do me a favor. Before you go, make sure you post the before and after pictures <laughs> on Facebook <laughs> before you go. You yes, know, please. we want to see what you look like before you crash and after. <laughs> It happens. It. Just ask Bobby uh, Dust. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she did a hoverboard. I don't know. If oh, you know. God. Yeah, nope, nope, yeah. nope. That's Broke electrical. Yeah. That thing's scary. It's electrical. Isn't it? Ooh. Exactly. No more scary than rollerblades. Yeah, but See, you can control I can, that. I can ice skate without a problem, but that's because there's like bumpers. <laughs> And it's flat. The rink. <laughs> and it's flat, right? Yeah. There's bumpers around the ring, and I could I could like bump into you it. You have and two stop boys. Okay. I mean, what's the problem with holding onto them as you walk around? When you <laughs> say you can ice skate without a problem, does that mean you can like? Really no, skate? I actually skate. I can skate backwards. No, backwards. no, not backwards. Can but you, I can skate. Can you score a goal? I'm not. <laughs> can you score? Because <laughs> BGK is looking yeah. for some. <laughs> you might be in their salary cap. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Just saying. Probably not. I uh, know. So <laughs> Flurry's gone now. I know. Sorry. Anyways, back I know, to you. And now we can afford more players. That's right. <laughs> right. Jump on that bandwagon. Fortunately. All right. So a um, couple of things. There's a few uh, 55 and older communities that are coming about, so which ones? I thought was really cool. Yeah. There's two of them coming about. Uh, Sparrow Partners is a Texas-based developer. Um, hmm. And they just recently broke ground on a 173-unit complex in the southwest Las Vegas Valley and then a 189-unit project around the Inspirata area in Henderson. Um, both are scheduled for mid-2022, according to them. And um, the four-story Mara-branded projects will offer activities such as happy hour, wine tastings, cooking, Ooh. fitness classes. Unless you've got COVID, then they shut all that shit down. <laughs> Apartments. With, well, that's what they did over at, um, what's it called? The one right uh, off of Town Center. Sun City? No. The uh, other one. Town Center? Nope. Right here? Nope. Oh, Sienna. Oh. Yeah. Nope. Sienna. No? <laughs> <laughs> it's the... Uh, you know what I'm talking about? It does I do. It it's Tripoli. Matter. It's not Tripoli. What is their... Oh, tri uh, Trilogy. Trilogy, yes. Thank you. Close Welcome. enough. I don't know, but so, the, the bar and the happy hour and all that, I could sign up for that. Yeah. I could <laughs> right? do that. Well, you'll yeah. be at that age so, in a few years. <laughs> the funny thing is these are so, actually... Sorry, go ahead. As soon as I start eating dinner at four. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Will that aura ring get you there? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It, the aura ring's like, go to sleep now. Go to sleep you now. You need to eat now. Wait, Time where's your ring? It's right here. Oh, wrong. Okay, wrong hand. Um, Ooh, so get it's actually, they're actually apartments, by the way. They're not... 
condos. condos? Like you can't buy into them. They're just apartments. They're going to be 600, 1300 square feet. Uh, monthly rents are going to be somewhere from 1300 mm. to 2800 according to new uh, news release. Now that's kind of cool right there. I, $1,300 to $2,800 a month? Like, why aren't we... Why aren't you we... You want to build some apartments? Yes. Yeah? For 55 and older? Yes. Or just for ourselves? Why are we... No, <laughs> yes. I, I bet it, it'll have a 10-car garage for you. Oh, I'll just take them all. That sounds great. I just need one... Party. I need one right. car garage for a car, or probably two. And some rollerblades. Right. Um, yeah, and, 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 and then another garage for all my storage, for all the office furniture that I have to store until I figure out what the hell I'm doing with it. <laughs> Why don't you have off? We're don't you have an office, home office? Yeah, but I don't need sell it. I don't need that furniture. I do. I have to sell it. I just don't have time to empty it. You should just give it away. But yeah, where, how, offer who's up. gonna come? Like, offer up. The, Seriously, the, offer up. Just throw on there that you got some free stuff and people come to your offer house. Offer up. Do it on Facebook. I, mean, I don't know if I want to give it for free, but anyways. So. Well, you still got that treadmill, right? How's I that going for you? Every day. <laughs> so funny story. I've. Tried to sell that treadmill for probably nine months. Pretty sure it's longer than that. A year? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I tried selling it for like a year, and then I decided that I was going to just keep it, and I made Beta and Tyson move it into one of one of the bedrooms through a window, by the way, because it wouldn't fit in the door <laughs> in the doorways and the turns. So I made them put it in through a window into <laughs> the office space. Talking. It was funny. They were drunk as shit doing it. it was <laughs> That's hilarious. the only way to make. And a now I actually use it. <laughs> So <laughs> no, you I use don't. it every oh. day, so you're not 45 selling it. minutes, every single day. Well, in 14 day. days, what will you do with it? <laughs> <laughs> You'll then be I'll an offer. <laughs> then I'll sell it. No, uh, I'll probably yeah. use it for like 20 to 30, 30 minutes. You know, I, I look at the, the, time, uh, the um, treadmill sales, almost like timeshares. How the hell do they sell those things? What do you mean? People Online. like, like uh, nobody buys a treadmill and actually uses it. Uh, when you buy a timeshare, you don't I use used it. it. I have. Chris, I you don't use a treadmill. <laughs> what, yeah, to store Chris clothes does on? Not, Chris does I not did. use a treadmill. <laughs> Do you have one? Do you, Do use, you it? use it? Amy does. What, what does this mean? Like He doesn't want to talk about it, he said. <laughs> he goes on and off. He we were hungover. Power on did it. I say hungover? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I said. Oh, man. We weren't drunk. We were hungover. They were, yeah. They oh, were they hungover. had a, they were drunk the night before. They Post were drunk. drunk. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I offered them some beers. Actually, I don't think I did. So anyways. <laughs> Nine in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, you're welcome. She didn't want to drink them all by herself. I know. <laughs> you're welcome. It's going to be so weird drinking again. We have a full studio. Audience. Will you Pretty go cool. back to uh, drinking again? I think I'll, you know, like I have been wanting a glass of wine. So if, are you going to, you're not going to 40 under 40 tonight? No. No. But I'm going, um, I'm going to be in, I'm going to be in California. I have a house closing out there in, in, on Tuesday. And I wanted to like actually go and, um, (laughs) the clients were like, Hey, let's, let's celebrate and let's, you know, I'll get a good bottle of wine. I'm like, well, I'm not drinking right now. They're like, what do you, what kind of nonsense is that? I'm like, I'm not drinking right now. I'll come back at the end of the month and then we'll, we'll, drink celebrate we'll they're celebrate. like well because you can't enjoy uh somebody a home warming housewarming event without alcohol they're like we're not you really can. buying a home anymore you can yeah <laughs> but he i mean he's gonna pull out a good bottle of wine that's the hard part uh, right when there's a good bottle of wine what would that be to you a good um bottle? god so many same so black many box? like a, a black box you now like a camus <laughs> or a camus. prisoner yeah um i'd even saldos are great um, saldos i've never heard of that saldo chris oh, you got god. some camus bring it out yeah. No. So those are like some good <laughs> bottles and there's there's like a whole like there's a whole series from the prisoner folks yeah. that are just amazing. So anyways, moving back to real estate. Um, so let's open let's seriously like let's start a apartment complex for fifty five and over. We got enough on our plate. I know. You guys are but doing challenges at the Ying Yang. No is that challenges, a challenge? That's no. not a challenge. This is just like a Real life. like a hey, let's let's think about let's put this in Why our future goals. Why would we do goals. that? Look at the rents. So that so that's been like a topic of uh, discussion for a lot of my clients lately. I feel like is everybody's talking about renting right now and that this is like helping them out for a retirement. This is their retirement opportunity. So they're going to start to get into well, not multi rents like, you know, big old apartments, but actually yeah. purchasing or moving out of their homes today, making their current homes a rental, and then their strategy around making that rental, basically getting it paid off by their tenants and having um, 
and having basic, you know, free and clear and they have residual income? Or do they go and sell this current home, buy, use the down payment or use the net proceeds to buy a new home? Are you guys hearing that a lot on... I would say if you're in a possible, if you are in a position to be able to hold your existing property and rent it and yeah. buy another one, you should. Yeah, I agree. For but the passive income, or yeah. for the equity, yes, yes. For and both? the equity, right? Yeah. But here's the thing: I just so we have a client, a mutual client that I, uh, they're going to be calling you to talk about this, but they're looking at buying a new place, and they're like, "Well, we'll just sell this one. What is it worth?" And I gave them the number, and like their eyes must have like. Like they were so wide, they couldn't believe that it, it was worth as much as I said it was. And so there, and I, and I said, but here's what you can get in rent for that right yeah. now. And then again, their eyes like, well, this is what our current mortgage is. If we rent it for that much, we'd make some decent money and da da da. And I said, if you buy a home in this price point, you'd be able to, I mean, half your mortgage would be paid off right. with what you're getting from the rental. Now, the, the dilemma there is that you have to have enough income coming out of there that you save enough for two to three months without a tenant just in case, mm -hmm. right? Because you're not, if a tenant moves out, you're not, but they've got a family member that's apparently going to rent, which I don't know if it's a well, good or a bad yeah, thing. Yeah, sell but, it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but that, that family member's paying the same amount of rent for a smaller property. See the look my son gave me. <laughs> so then... Then you have, um, <laughs> today's your day, by the way, Tyson. You, it's bring your kid to work day. So today you get to speak. So are you yeah, prepared at, for that? Yeah, at 1.45. Last week it was my son. This, oh, me too. Never mind. You don't get to talk. So, um, so what was I saying? Oh, so then they, they, so they're looking at like potentially what I said. I said, look, I'm not a lender, nor do I play one right now. And I'm saying this for audio, but I, what I did Only tell them to do is, um, talk to you about pulling the equity out yeah. of the home, using that as a down payment. And then their mortgage would likely still be less than what they would get in rent. They'd still be able to make some money and their mortgage payment today at the lowest interest rate would be lower than what they're, what they're looking at, like all in once they put that mm -hmm. down payment from the equity. I mean, it just, have it as it's there's just, so like, many. there's so many incredible opportunities yeah. right now that I feel like people don't understand or want to know how to take advantage of it and they really need to talk to either you or me or me yeah I, <laughs> you or me shelly and then we'll <laughs> he's wearing a nice suit today i know yeah. it's incredible yeah, i know a thing or two oh uh, yeah. yeah i know you tell me everything i know i know your guys's phone numbers when they talk to me i'll refer them off <laughs> yes what's my phone number uh, speed dial one. It's Vondana. Speed dial one. <laughs> Vondana. Do you, what do you have? A flip flow? Float, hey float? Siri, call Vondana. Oh, oh he's got the Tesla. Tesla. He just. You're, oh, that's cute. so Wait, actually. You're my number thing's one. Not on working his... on my Tesla. Okay, yeah. off topic again because Teslas are all right. Off topic. Junk. Yeah, no, they're not junk. <laughs> we're just, we're just, just gonna kidding, Tamara. Just, just kidding. Yeah. I know. She, <laughs> she was so mad last week. She was like, I can't believe you guys were doing she that. She returned her car, actually. Well, we know she <laughs> listens. I know. Right? I yes, know. she does listen. Either that or someone told her. Um, <laughs> evicted despite a federal moratorium, I do not know what I'm going to do. Many local governments and courts were not sure how to apply the extension of protections and dockets in some places overflowed with evictions. Um, and it seems like there's, it's happening all over the city mm -hmm. that they're now starting to see evictions come about. I, I did ask our property management division how we're doing and thankfully like all is well, mm -hmm. like we're not seeing that on there, our end, we, but I know that there's a, we're ton. proceeding with a few. We are, but yeah, but it's not, it's not massive amounts. Yeah. Not like they're, they're talking about in the news. <laughs> Here's the funny thing. I'm, I'm just, I'm going to give some tenants a little piece of advice when you come into Calm the office down. now when you come into the office and you, you're talking about how hard things are and how you can't pay your rent don't show up with your nails done <laughs> oh i know i you know, know it's like you got your new clothes and your hair done and your nails done but you can't pay your rent I, I, that's frustrating were they priorities yeah. Right? yeah priorities are obviously a little bit different i'm just saying and i think when you go to eviction court and you're the tenant there, and th I think the judge looks at that too. Take you off your nails. So? I is think what he's it'd saying. be smart if they did. I mean, it's like, come on, well, eyelashes. Well, that's I, just a personal rant. That's all. If there are people, if there are tenants, in fact, that need, we, I mean, yes, I agree with you that that should not be, that should never happen, right? If you're, if you need to pay rent and you don't do your, you don't pay rent, but you're doing your nails and getting uh, your hair did and buying the new latest just, iPhone. It's just priorities. I, or I just whatever think, the hell Shelly has. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> I agree. It's um, a Samsung. You show up with that. Yeah. We know you can't pay your rent. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
<laughs> Show up with your with your Samsung. It you need takes to borrow that. Great <laughs> pictures. Come on, guys. Does it? It does. does. It, really? it did yesterday. <laughs> did it? <laughs> it yeah, did it yesterday. Really? Yes. Yeah. No, that was the guy you hired to take <laughs> pictures. It had nothing to do with you. It had nothing to do with your well, Samsung. Well, it had all to do with you. Yeah, but. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, not your Samsung, that's for sure. I took good pictures. I, I mean, know. I looked good in them anyway. But I know this all makes sense to us. But it I don't does. Think, I don't think anyone listening knows what the Get hell's it. going on here. What did you say? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Get the hell out of here. I don't know what you said, but I'm going to replay this and listen. Um, oh, Okay. So anyway, so there's Commenting. so there are people that are that are getting evicted right now. If you need help with that, um, you should probably contact Chaps or you know someone to assist you with it. If you're a tenant, if you're a landlord, and you want to try to get your tenants out. By the way, did you see that? Sorry, tangent, right? But also important. Squirrel. Did you see? Yeah, did you see the news article about the landlord that killed his tenants? No. <laughs> That was just down. Is that was in Vegas. Movie? It was in Vegas. No yeah. way. It was, yes. It was over by where I used to live. Oh my God. Hold on. Let me see. At over by Baylor? where you live. Like over uh, by Sahara and Las Vegas Land, Boulevard area. Hold on. Landlord kills tenant. Two. Two of them, by the way. Yeah. Because they weren't paying the rent. Yeah. It was um, Las Vegas landlord accused of killing two tenants over rent dispute. Um, Las Vegas. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Fox 5 News. Tar. <laughs> Um, hold on. Let me see if I can find it. I did find Did you find it, Beta? Beta's looking for it. Um, Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department confirmed that Arnold Sanchez, 78, was arrested in connection with the shooting. He was 78 years old? 78, yeah. He wouldn't be ideal tenant for our um, apartment complex, but um, he was arrested in connection with the shooting. According to jail and court records, Sanchez faces two murder charges and attempted murder charge. I'm in the middle of a show, you guys. I don't know what's happening over here. He looked crazy as F. Allegedly. He has not been uh, allegedly hasn't been convicted accused. yet. Been yeah. Spencer said police were called to the area after multiple shots were heard at a residence. When police arrived, uh, they found a woman in the driveway suffering a gunshot wound. She was pronounced dead at the scene. Oh, wow. While officers were securing the scene, a man came out of the residence suffering from nine gunshot wounds. The man was taken to University Medical Center in critical condition, but police said Tuesday morning or afternoon that the man is expect is is expected to survive. Um, once the police got inside the home, they located another woman suffering gunshot wounds inside the home. Spencer said she was pronounced dead at the scene. So two dead, one injured, 78-year-old year, landlord. Was um, it like an allegedly. Airbnb situation that they're all in the house together? Or I don't know. Cray, I have no cray. idea. What gun has a full? <laughs> a machine gun. I don't think, the, well, they said <laughs> multiple gunshot wounds, not 11. I don't think that was... Oh, maybe. Clip. It was an AK-47. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So anyways, yeah, and that was pistol. over unpaid rent. Water bottle. Yeah. I mean. When landlords fight back. When landlords fight. Well, and I just, I don't know if that's, if that's it's what it is. It's not good. No, but just, there's, you have disputes like this Can you this imagine? Kind of um, no. Getting people out of your house? Yeah, no. <laughs> Uh, I mean, being a landlord, like I, th I think that would have been Aren't my. Aren't you a landlord? Yes, that would have been my. Would you next have gone? Would you have uh, gone? No, to, I wouldn't yeah. have gone there with my AK forty-seven. But I would have. I just to think about what the process would look like. Do you or have an AK forty-seven? Uh, by do I meaning like in the house? I'm pretty sure there's something in my house in a big old gun safe. Oh, you have guns in your house? I think so. She you have a dog? She has, she I have has a, a husband. Dog. I have a husband. Yeah. Okay. He carries. He's not a gun. He packs some heat. So. <laughs> Is Millennials and Gen Z, by the way. What are we? Uh, I'm a millennial. No, you're I think not. I'm a baby boomer. No. You're no, I'm not. <laughs> you are not. Are, are you a millennial? Hold on. I think we're X. I'm not a millennial. We're X. Generation X. X is, hold on. I'll tell you right now. Born between 1965 and 1979. Bingo. That's what you are. So you're a Gen X. So are you. I know. I'm Gen X. Shut up. Nobody needs to know that. Gen Z. Where, when were you born? I'm getting hot. <laughs> I don't know you ask her about her age and she just starts to sweat. <laughs> She's like, and that's how old I am. So, uh, 1974. Gen, so, Gen Z. So, She's not X us. We're Xers. So, not us. None of us. Maybe, what's a Gen Z? Gen Z is a. Chris? Gen Z is, is uh, oh no, you guys are millennials, right? Uh, 1990s to two, 2010s. That's you. You're 1990. You're past 1990. When were you born, Beta? 97. 
Shut the hell oh. up. Seriously? Okay, so this is him. And, and Tyson was X. Millennial. Or, I mean, yes. he was 96. He's a millennial. He's, no, he's oh, a he's a Z. 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 X, Y. He's an X and a Y, and he's a Z. What did we say we are? We are X's. We are X's. <laughs> it's true. So, oh, Jesse, This seems like a show we've had before. I know, I it know. does. Every we do this show. all the time because we can't figure it out. Like, we can't get, get our shit together. Gen Z and millennial renters are flocking back to cities like New York flocking? and San Francisco. Flocking? like flocks of birds. Oh, like flocking. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Lots of them at what the same the time. So they all... At the same time. They all, all came the into time. the cities. Yeah, and left. then COVID, everyone pulled out. Left. And now yeah, they're all they had to go back. home. Because yeah. they're millennials. They had to go live with their parents. Yeah. Or Gen Z, Gen X, Gen Y. Gen Z and millennials. And now they know it's free rent, so there they go. <laughs> Gen Z and millennials. I was reading a book, or I am actually, called... Um, I don't remember. How to remember? No. <laughs> is the aura good for remembering? I'm trying to... I know, is aura good for... Probably sleep is. I think yeah. it would probably help with that. It is about raising grateful children in an oh, entitled it's called world. Ra- great, uh, raising grateful children. That's or a grateful child. Yeah. Oh, yeah. R- r- raising grateful kids in an entitled world. Yeah. Is what it's called. I don't remember why I started that conversation. Oh, you they were saying were that it. they were saying that like a lot of people, a lot of people after they go to college, they come back and live with their parents and that parents are actually like hindering their ability to be adults by letting them stay. Enabler. Yeah, because they're um, because, you know, they're paying for everything and they're giving them more money without them having to actually earn it. They're, Work. they're Yeah, they're helping them find jobs. They're like all sorts of stuff without doing it on their own. That's what I read in the book that I'm reading. So do you feel like that would be you as a, a parent? Hell no. You won't. If your kids came back, you would kick them back out? I would tell them to go find a job. And then? And then they would go find a job. But they'd stay, job. they'd live in your home? No. What? She doesn't even let them out of the house. <laughs> How yeah. are they going to move? First things first. They're going to be begging <laughs> no, to move. So my kids know that they have to, first of all, they got to get scholarships to go to school, to college, because I'm not paying for that shit, or they got to they gotta get a job and they got to pay for it. That's how I did it. Good for you. I moved out. I had I had my own job. I paid for my own um, education. I paid for my own um, uh, place to stay. I had to do all of that. Why can't they? And look at you now. Look they at me can. now. I'm paying my shit all by myself again. <laughs> Still. <laughs> <laughs> Still doing it. So when I I know I didn't go back home to get help from mom and dad. Like I handled it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Why you guys but, always look at over here? I, I mean know, I did I'm it just, too. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. So you didn't? Uh I went away Don't for lie. college. I, I came back home. I mean I didn't go back home. No, I've stayed I mean I never, <laughs> never I left mind. and I never came She's back. She's lying. I already know it. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real. I've been on. No, that's. I've been out since at the 18. Same thing you're looking at. Oh, I'm sorry. News articles. <laughs> sorry. I He's trying like to find a different topic. No, I'm orders. following along. She's just going right down the list. Oh, I, I got gotcha. you. I am. It's okay. the email that he sent me. That's how I do it. Got it's it. It's an email with articles that we go through. You. That got the is same. what we're talking about. That's how we're going through it. So, anyways, yeah. So that was the that was one of the topics that was in the book. Where's your fan? I buy, I buy you this amazing fan that's expensive fan. as shit, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, Brent. <laughs> and you I can't leave find it, it and you can't find it? Well, it's, I, it's in my car, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. We just need to change your seat. You just I need to send so, it out of the yeah. vent. Um, I'm Fine. cool as hell. Renting <laughs> activity is officially back to pre-pandemic levels, registering at really a 13% high. increase in first half of 2021 no year over year. So there's that Gen Z and millennials going back to the city. That's what that article was about. So I put in the, uh, I gave beta the link for the eviction process and, and what you should do if you are a tenant faced with an eviction notice. Ooh. There's actually like a step going through there. Where is it? It was part of our little uh, agenda, non-agenda. Agenda, not agenda Yeah. So for those That's of you fun. listening and you uh, have friends, family, or That's anybody you walk, you are near that, at questions what happens if they get a notice on their it's the next door. one on your list oh there, there's oh. a wait on. did i send it to you beta hold on a sec yeah you did okay housing is there it, it is called right housing and security affects all nevadans no which no nope. it? it is oh, with, with a renewed, renewed moratorium and new nevada law yep. what should i know about evictions i got it yeah um do you want me to send it to you beta beta max it's there it's in there oh okay it's in there and my so, affiliate link is below it too, right, Beta? I'm just <laughs> kidding. 
Shelly Panzarella. That's right. So if you have an eviction case, you can electronically file your tenant <clears throat> answer um, using a scanning thingy or whatever. Every, those are back, by the way. QR QRs, codes. Yeah. Like there for a long time, nobody used it. Now all of a sudden they're was, back at it. When they first came out, it was going to be the coolest thing, the neatest thing, and nobody used them at all. Now it's mm-hmm. the Now thing. you can't even order at Food. a restaurant without it. That's right. Yeah. So there is an entire checklist of stuff that you can do. And you can listen to the article if you don't want to read it. You know, where's the biggest QR code you've ever seen? Uh, this is a serious question. I saw the biggest one I've ever seen yesterday. Really? Oh, here in Vegas? Yeah. At the stratosphere? Nope. Oh. But you, you can't see it from the stratosphere. It's on the other side of a building called World Resorts. Damn, I was just ah, about to pull it out. World, World Res- Resorts or Resorts World? Resorts World. Where they that whole side of the building, yeah. is, they had a big old QR code. I'm like, I wonder who's doing that. From the airplane. It? I know, but... From the plane, do you think? <laughs> They're like, I need to book a hotel room. Make your reservations. <laughs> that's, that's a great idea. I could see that that LED light from my house. For Resorts World? Yeah, it's gigantic. Is it? It faces yeah. the uh, Henderson area. Do you guys not see it up mm-hmm. where you are? No? No. I live in a single story. I watch story. TV all the time. I don't even need my season tickets anymore. The Knights games are played on there. I just hang out on my balcony. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it, can you? <laughs> I, well, I can't actually. It's like, come on to the freeway. Oh, when you come on it's the freeway. It's gigantic. Yeah. That's which you were trying. To, that was your <laughs> that was your humble brag that you got a strip view. Little, yeah, <laughs> very little. <laughs> when you like drive down the street and then <laughs> just kidding, it's way down. When you're on your rollerblades, exactly. You see it. Don't be on uh, your rollerblades and on a hill, you'll hurt yourself. So forty under forty is tonight. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you got some agents going to that. Who's winning? Who's won? I got that Who's right here. That was all out. Chris Bishop's a winner. Chris, Chris Bishop, Chris not yeah, under bel- forty. Believe it or not, he's still under forty. So what, what I didn't understand is, is it forty people who are under no. forty that yes. win? No, that's supposed to no. be. No, oh, no, no. It used no. to be. No, it used to be. Okay, but now there isn't necessarily even forty people. It's who's who under forty. Ah, oh. so all right. That. So you've got uh, Chris Bishop. Okay. Daryl Braswell. Okay. Still going. Hold Annie on, Bushman. Minute. Annie Bushman, yes, Annie Bushman. Okay, oh, got a phone I know call Christy Stark in. is. Christy Stark, those are your four, and then you have a Hall of Famer. Uh, your Hall of Famer, I thought it was Rexy, no? Rexlin? I don't know. Let's see, Hall of Famer, no, is not on there. <laughs> so you have four that are in the I main. I could have swore we had a Hall of Famer too, but. I'm a Hall yeah. of Famer. Famer. Yeah, you are. I'm a Hall of Famer. I won it every year I was able to win it. Did you? So won. The fir- when I was turning 40, I was 39. That was the first year they had it. Yeah. Wow. And I don't know how I won it. <laughs> you said, put in for this. I so I did and I won. I was I'm like, pretty Great. sure I did your application for you. Shh. <laughs> that's how you won it. That's See, how that's we, how she that's won. How we just do that's so. how she takes credit for my awards. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's, that's why they're all it on her wall. It was mine. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I thought you had one, per- one more person on here, but it is four. Those four. So, so you guys are going there tonight? No. Yeah. Yeah. I am. You are. No. Yeah. You are. Beta will be there. Chris will be there. Yeah. Tyson Janet will, be, will there. be there. Tyson's the vice chair of YPN and is putting it on. We got a cabana. I heard. Yeah. Wait, so it's a pool party? No. The, <laughs> I told there's Jan- a cabana, cabana Cap- out cabana. by the pool, but the award ceremony is inside. I don't know how it's all going to work out, but I don't know how they oh. sold me on it, but they did. Cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. I on well because of Tyson's your vice chair, and that's what happens when you put your son as your vice chair. He asks you for help every time. <laughs> hey, by the way, but he hasn't moved back home. But he hasn't moved back <laughs> home yet. Sponsorships? Huh? Sponsorships for what? For forty and oh. forty. Who's who? Oh, I got it. Are we still talking about the same thing? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So congratulations to the winners: Chris Bishop, Daryl Braswell, Annie Ooh. Bushman, and Christy Stark. Yes. Very cool. Very cool. Christy's doing some well, good stuff. Well, I know there stuff. are more She's winners, but I need a signature real estate crew. <laughs> yes, that's true. Both Christy and Tyson made our leader luncheon yesterday mm-hmm. um, yeah. for Q2, which was awesome. Oh, what a great event, too. Yeah. That was. That was a pretty cool. The venue was cool. The food was great. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> the uh, no, the thank rides. You. I got the free rides and... Couldn't do them? Future. Yeah. Future, future free rides. So are we getting future free rides? Well, or do Brandon's I need got to this sales it? challenge. No, you... so we're, uh, so Thomas, and I couldn't tell if Thomas was like really wanting to he do did. it. He did. Really he wanted, really wanted to. From the yeah. moment he got there, he was like, he told me could I do this? What do you think? Would you go? Like he was legitimately trying to get somebody See, to See, I thought him. he was just trying to get somebody to do it 
and knowing that everyone would say no, so he could say, like, I was going to do it, but... No, it Thomas is... Yeah, so, no, anyway, on. I got the feeling he wanted to do it towards the end. So, uh, I I committed. We're, we're going to go back and do it. I'm going to do it. Okay, so, but you, you're doing a challenge, right? You're not just... I don't know what kind of challenge we're going to do, but it'll be an easy challenge so that we win, so that we can... <laughs> Who's we? All me, the burgers. Thomas. Uh, just the two of you. You guys are going to do it? Thomas Chris Bushro. <laughs> you guys are going to jump off the building? Yeah. Have but you lost your minds? Whose challenge is you're, it? You're going to... It's not really a challenge. We're just going to go do it. Uh, that's just fun. It's like a... Yeah. Okay. It'll be a gr- good group activity. <laughs> you know, <laughs> can I... They also have, have an amazing a, uh, happy hour and... Um, I have a thing. Lounge up there, too. Yes, they do. Cool. So if you don't yeah. want to do that specific thing, I'm I'm um, putting on an event strat. for junior achievement to actually do a over the over the wall. It's where you actually what is that thing called when you propel Bungie? propel down a building? Rappel. Rappel. Yeah, it's called rappelling. Rappelling. Yeah, that's what it, I, I did said that propel, when I was a kid. But yes, rappelling. So you rappel off of mm-hmm. a really tall building, and it and the money raised for you to do that goes to junior achievement. That's kind of what the stratosphere is. Yeah, it's like a free fall though. Yeah, straight up. That shit's scary. I won't do it. Well, you're crazy. you're harnessed in and. Yeah, I wouldn't do it because of the dress yesterday, but I totally would have. Even if even though they weren't you open until two. You jumped off the stratosphere. I think so. Strat. She would have. She would have free fallen. But but the the, <laughs> the dress would have slowed her down. It would have been like a parachute. <laughs> so she decided not to. Yeah, it was, it was an unfair advantage. It totally. Were you wearing underwear? <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing was. <laughs> <laughs> Is the air on in here? It's getting hot again. I'm jumping first. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so who was it that said they were going to... Oh, it was uh, uh, Jay Miranda. He said he'd switch clothes with I, you if you crazy, wanted to right? jump. <laughs> I mean, he was like sizing me up to see if he'd actually fit in my dress. <laughs> He's like, care. you can borrow my Levi's. I would have I done it just for that. Not me personally, but I mean you. I would have done it if I were you. It's too bad they didn't open until 2.30. I totally would have too. No, you would not. <laughs> Yeah, me too. I would have done it too. <laughs> exactly. Well, we're so, going back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's I'll a be challenge. wearing Jay's jeans. <laughs> it's it'll be a good fun experience. It'll be fun. It'll be scary yeah. as hell, but it'll be fun. I think you had a few. You well, have a few Well, we've been wanting to go. do a, a company outing. That would be a great company outing where we go get drinks. And then after yeah. after 14 days, we go get think drinks. Janet would do it. She wouldn't no. do the water she, part. I'm oh, not she'd come for the sure drink. we could do that for Janet. Yeah, she'd come for the drink. I like drinks. Janet. She definitely would not jump off, though. Oh, drinks for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she'd be the one that would prepare us for the... She'd give us a nice professional speech before we jump. Dude, I think we could get sponsored to for that shit. Fall. And we could... Let's raise money for Signature Strong that way. Chris is. Chris is going to sponsor it. Yes? Oh. Okay. No, seriously. Yeah, we could do it. Let's do it. Like, you guys, we're going to have a bunch of people. If we raise X number of dollars, then... All the brokers will jump off the building. Oh, oh money, money, I'm money! Not jumping off of a building—that's for damn sure. So we'll do we'll do the lower level will be me, and then it'll be <laughs> the next one will be <laughs> for five dollars. No, Brandon no. jumps if, off. If we raise five thousand dollars, Brandon goes. If we raise ten thousand, Brandon and Shelly go. If we raise fifteen, Brandon, Shelly, and Chris go. Yes. If we raise twenty, Brandon, How did I Shelley, get put in this? <laughs> Chris and Vaughn and I go. Uh, I'll go. But if you Thomas raise, if we wants raise 100, to go. hundred thousand. hundred thousand, you'll do it. hundred thousand dollars, and I will do it. If we raise $100,000 for Signature Strong, I will jump off. So we're going to open that up to everybody. For All all I need you to do is get a picture with you and your two boys, pretend like you're on eviction, (laughs) and you... (laughs) Just kidding, just kidding. Um, (laughs) We can get 250, 250. (laughs) (laughs) They're your real children. Uh, They're my real children. Just number one. Yeah. (laughs) So um, I did want to talk about the (laughs) friends. Wait, so are we for real doing this, or... Yeah, I think we should. Okay. We'll talk 5, about what? Bra- 5,000 Brandon will do it. 10,000 Brandon and, t- and who? Shelly. Shelly. Uh, 15,000 Brandon, Shelly, and Chris. Wait, so just so I'm clear, do 20, you write at the same time? No. No, you can't do oh, it at so the same just time. Oh, so just one, one at a time. Okay, yeah. got it. All right. It, yeah. it, just so you know, I, like, I bungee jumped. <laughs> I bungee jumped off of the Long Beach. Um, what is it? The Queen Mary or whatever. They had a bungee jump. It's not even that high. This it took is, me 30 minutes to this get This is off easier. The ledge. This is easier oh. than bun- bungee jumping. You know why? Because you don't bounce back up. Yeah, but how, what you happens when you fall? You, you fall real fast, and then it slows you down because you're on a on a cable. Oh lord! So you go, and, and then, then you're just you hanging land. there. No, and then you just land. Oh, on the floor? Yeah. And if it doesn't the... slow down, you're screwed. Yes. That's... If it doesn't slow down, you're fine. <laughs> but if you hit the ground, that's when you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh lordy! So make sure you you. Hey. How do they donate? Go to me. <laughs> you just you just land. I'm gonna have a heart attack just thinking about. It. Okay, <sighs> I gotta move on. I gotta move on. Okay. So where it pays off to actually buy long-term rental properties, by the way, there are um, there are communities or uh, states, cities, in the United States where your I. ROI, let me do that one more time, where your ROI is the highest. ROI is your return on investment. And number one on the list, should I go from backwards? Yeah. Should I tell you what number we are? What is long-term rental? Like one year? Long year? Ter- um, I would years? say like five. I five mean, years? Maybe a year. One year. Kim's doing a hundred bucks. Go Kim. So hundred bucks. Uh, oh, Brandon's in the running. We <laughs> are, so Scottsdale, Arizona is at number 30. And they are, so home investment uh, favorability score is 54. Home affordability score is 48.7. Rental opportunity score is 76. I don't know what any Mm. of that shit means. And then your rating index for that, for Scott Sailor's Donuts, 59.79. They have a whole explanation. I'm happy to send it to you if you guys want. But North Las Vegas. We're just filling time, so. North Las Vegas is number 27 on the list. What? North Las Vegas. So if you're looking to buy rental property here in Vegas, your best ROI is going to be in North Las Vegas. Uh, Spring Valley is 17. Why are you? Why are you? Oh, hold on. I'm you, getting there. Oh, shit. That's Nevada, too. Right. Where is so that? So Spring Valley is over by... Um, 89117? No, no, no. Spring... It's... um Yes. Yes, 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 yes. It's over by DI and Buffalo area-ish. Yeah, I used to live there. The I used older, to live there. Yeah, that's so crazy. That yeah, you you used to live there. I yes, used to live there, I used too. To live. I used to live there. What, why would that be the highest oh, long-term? I don't know. Huh. And then um, when we get to number <laughs> no, five, it's not. Uh, number no, five. It is. There's nice oh. homes over there and good size, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, number Stable f- area. Five is Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham. 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 Ham. That's what I said. Birmingham. Mm. <laughs> you have, number four is Tampa, Florida. Did you drink all the wine? No, I did not <laughs> drink any wine. Number four is Tampa, Florida. Number Me? three is Mesa, Arizona. Number two is Buffalo, New York. What? What do you do? Beautiful up in Buffalo. Buffalo, New York. I don't know. Apparently, buy houses for good ROI. Huh. And number one on the list, number one, Port St. Lucia, Florida. Where's that? Port Florida. S- in Florida. <laughs> so Florida Hawaii is, on, is not on this list? No. Did you Why? want to buy in Hawaii? There's no, there's not the cost. They take into account of the cost of the property along with the rent. So yeah. your return is not going to be that great. In Flor- Hawaii? Yeah. Florida's in here six times. And it's long-term rental, not short-term, which means oh, not Oh, the Airbnbs Airbnb. and stuff. So top 30 Florida so made it really six times. Hialeah? <laughs> Hialeah? Is Florida? That's that's sort of Hawaiian. Um, and then Orlando, Florida, Jacksonville, Florida, St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, so Florida. Tampa, What's happening Florida. in Florida? I don't know. And then Port Port St. Lucia. Um, and then Arizona is on the list for Mesa, Arizona, Glendale, Arizona. Um, Where's Mesa? Going. Isn't that near Glendale? Phoenix. Phoenix is on the list. Gilbert, Arizona. And Scottsdale, Arizona. So I am actually thinking about uh, a, a rental property in Hawaii because w- when we went away for Hawaii or yeah. to Hawaii, uh, you they had a, a stay? well. They actually have right on the right when you walk in. There's a nice little book that says, "Hey, just so you know, this home is for rent, but you can also own it. This home rents for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. You can get rental income. Ouch! Uh, for one hundred and fifty thousand rental income a year. That's brilliant." Right? That's brilliant. And then the mortgage on that is, so when I did the math, uh, the mortgage on it is like $5,000. So you can double your... And then the property taxes is $200,000 a year. (laughs) All inclusive. All inclusive. Is that what it is in Hawaii? What, taxes? Taxes. What's your taxes out there? Uh, Here it's it's about 1%, right? I'm like seriously considering this because this could be my second home. Okay. I mean, it could um, also be our second home. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting well. for Brandon to buy a cabin so I don't have to. Well, like Utah, you're Costa Rica. Then, uh, isn't yeah. that like you're, yeah. you, I mean, that's like a rental investment that's pay, paying yep. itself, right? So that's far, what I thought. So far, no? I have a, so far, I have a house in Costa Rica. I'm looking for a cabin in Utah. I'm looking for a place in Hawaii. Cabin in you Utah. You guys should get on top of that shit. Um, I've got a place in California now. So let's go. Well, what, are you, what have you Let's done do for it. me lately? 
Hold your, on a second. Your brother's place in California? Topanga. Or did you buy one? No, it's his. Oh, okay. Well, it's yours. Same, same. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's Is my, that how Just that like your house in Costa Rica. Re, Costa Rica. Let me try that again. Costa Rica. Costa Rica is also mine. <laughs> it's there. I'll send oh, you the man. bill. Here it is. Hold on. <laughs> like I know you guys are house waiting in Hawaii four minutes left. The buys is going to be ours. Property taxes, twenty five forty four, but it's a condo. Homeowner's insurance, which I thought is actually a really year? low, is thirteen forty four. They they have twenty five percent management fee. Hold on, can can I back up for a second? Twenty five right? twenty five hundred dollars a year. Twenty five hundred. Yeah, that's weak. That's not bad at it's, all. It's not good. No, it's cheap. Oh, <laughs> there's a place sure in, your, in Utah uh, that has similar like rents that are pretty crazy. I yeah. can't remember the name of it. Sandy uh, something sand. Sandy, oh uh, yes, Sandy Utah. Uh, Where? No, Utah? not Sandy. It's, uh, it's in Utah. It's a uh, Sand Harbor. Sand Har- nope. It's Sand something. Sand Hollow. Sand Hollow. Yes. Sand Hollow. I have an agent that just bought there, and she was telling me that the rents there are like 16000 a month. A month. A month. No. Yeah, no. There's no, no houses. No. Yes, there are. Yes, yeah. there are. They there. went to school uh, right there. It's they a resort. Just, they, it's like a resort, yeah. and they started They put started putting houses right there. She just bought one. Yeah. I, it just, she just I did the loan. She's got the only house. I have the appraisal on it. Yeah. 16,000. No, no, no. And it's impossible to get a house there. Because there are none. There are <laughs> <laughs> I'm going sh- to show you. I'm going to show you, Beta Max. There's Sand, not very Sand many. Sand Hollow, right? All right, Shelly, we've got oh, like three minutes like... left. I should be going. You're good. Um, you need to give us rates. Go. Rates, rates are actually the same. Packing up. So we're good. Rates are still in the low threes. You have nothing to add? Yeah, I've been talking this whole time. Thank you for letting me. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We thought we were going to have to run her off 15 minutes early <laughs> so you could talk. Know, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, rates are actually still holding low, although they are saying that rates are going to go up by the end of the year. So we'll see. So now it's still a great time to buy. And rates were brought to you by Signature Real Estate School. <laughs> <laughs> Signature yes. School NV.com. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Great All promo. Right. So All don't right, forget, else? we've got Signature Strong um, going right now with five thousand dollars for no. Brandon to jump, ten thousand for Brandon and Shelly to jump, fifteen thousand for Brandon and Shelly. I'm on top Chris though to of that three list because that's that's a heavy weighter to go in, like that could smash. Okay, that's too much information. <laughs> one just one jumps underwear. at a time. Okay, I forgot. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> just, <laughs> like I do not want to be on the bottom exactly. of that. I can't tree. be in the a sandwich. If you're wearing <laughs> your if you're wearing your dress, I'll go on the bottom. <laughs> Come on. Exposed. No, no, it's one at a time. And a yeah. hundred a hundred thousand for side. me because I I Because you're a chicken? Because I don't like heights. And it's gonna and so if we raise when we raise the hundred grand. Yep. I'll you go. had better do it. I will. If if and when we raise the hundred grand. Hundred thousand. Well guess what, guys? <laughs> We're gonna be. Will you post that on all of your um, charitable? Can stuff I get? That you can do? I get a flyer for that? I'll post everything yeah, Persia, flyer wise. Persia will and be then on. we've got a hundred grand to give away to nonprofit organizations and do some really good shit for the city, there and you the community. It. That's how I. That's how I roll. Hundred grand. Make it happen. Do it. Do it. Do it. We're okay. already hundred. Ten thousand for me. <laughs> all right. Wrap it up. Bring us home. <laughs> all right. All right. Make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, what are we doing about our time next week? Push we? the notification button. Yeah. Make sure you push the notification. And then button. you'll be notified. We are a little bit early today, so see if you had pushed the notification button last week, you would have known we were on at one o'clock today. We'll see you next week. That's a wrap. Bye. Bye.